clean up first. Hey, we're gonna learn how to subtract with negative numbers. Mom, Dad, this is different than anything you and I were taught as kids. Like 137 donuts minus 68 donuts. What, 37 minus 68? All right, do you want me to write or do you wanna write? I think Pirates Sam wants to subtract. Pirate Sam? Are you gonna help us? Yeah. What is 100 minus zero? Well, <laughs> 100 minus zero. That's still 100. But what about, what about 130 minus 60? Or even just 13 minus six, Pirate Sam? What's 13 minus six, Pirate Sam? <laughs> All right, Pirate Sam, what's 13 minus six? 13 minus six, which is seven. That's seven, correct. All right, Pirate Sam, what's seven minus eight? Seven ones minus eight. And really, this is 130 minus 60, so we got 70 here. But now we're gonna look at seven minus eight. Again, we have 130 donuts minus 60 donuts. That's 70 donuts. But now, what's seven minus eight donuts? Negative 69. Negative 69? No, what's seven minus eight donuts? Negative one. Negative one, very good. So what's 70 minus one, Pirate Sam? I said 69. You said negative 69. <laughs> <laughs> so Pirate Sam ate a lot of donuts, but there's still 69 donuts left over. All right. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, likes to subtract whenever he can. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, fiercest pirate in all the land. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, a one-eyed puppet mustache man. Pirate Sam. Pirate Sam, negative account balances, he's on the lam. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, what about that Pirate Sam? Pirate Sam. Let's do 300. And 48 Legos minus 168 Legos. Ooh, this looks challenging. Okay, well, what is 300 minus 100 Legos? 200. 200 Legos, excellent. Now, what is 40 Legos minus 60 Legos? Or you could just say, what's four minus six? Then we need to borrow from the tenth place, because he doesn't know what it is. Well, what's four minus six? Then we need to borrow from the tenth place. Or we can just go to the number line. That's a great idea. And go backwards. Pirate Sam. Yeah, let's do it, Pirate Sam. Start at four and let's go backwards. Have three. Close, let's try again. One, two, we're gonna go backwards, six spaces. Four, five, oh, thanks, Pirate Sam. Six, there we go. So the answer is? Negative two. Negative two, so really this is minus 20 because it's in the tens place. 40 minus 60. All right, and then we have eight minus eight, which is? Minus eight, zero. Zero, that's nothing. So really, we're just looking at 200 minus 20. And that's how many Legos we have left over. So what is 200 minus 20? 200 minus 20, I know what that is. Or what's 20 minus two? I can see what 20 minus two is. 18. 18, so this is 180 donuts because we are looking at 200 minus 20. That's the final answer. Excellent work, Pirate Sam. All right, there are 57.
bird poops on the driveway, but 29 have been cleaned up. That means we have still some bird poops to clean up off the driveway. Ew, bird poops. We had 57, we've cleaned up 29. How many are left? 57 minus 29. You've got five tens, you take away two tens. That's three tens. 30. But what about seven minus nine? Ooh, well seven minus nine. Ooh, that's a tough one. Seven minus nine equals, it's out of the frame. Seven minus nine, let's move the camera. Seven minus nine is negative two. So, we have 30 and negative two. 30 and negative two. So go backwards from 30 two times. Let's see, 29, 28. We're subtracting two. That means we have 28 bird poops left to clean up. Ooh, 28 bird poops. Negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. Negative numbers just keep going and going and going. That's why we have this concept of infinity and negative infinity. Numbers never ever stop. Hey, mom, dad, if you found this information wild, fun, educational, go ahead and buy us a coffee. There's a link down below. See you next time, class. Hey, don't forget, God loves you.